Welcome back to Mason Talks. So the Cleveland Browns currently hold the 13th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. And I think the clear and obvious decision that the Browns will likely make with their first round pick is to select a wide receiver because wide receiver is a clear and obvious need for this team. And luckily for the Cleveland Browns, there are a lot of high potential receivers in this draft who could go in that top 15 range. And so early on in this draft season, we obviously have, you know, a couple months until the draft actually occurs. I wanted to start talking about which receivers the Browns will likely target. And the first receiver I want to talk about today is Ohio State's Garrett Wilson. Now, Garrett Wilson is considered amongst many one of the top two, top three receivers in this draft class. And I think there is a lot going for Wilson. I think there really is a lot of potential here. He's 21 years old. He's six foot, uh, six foot tall, 192 pounds. And when you watch him play, the things that stand out as obvious, the one clear takeaway that you kind of have from Wilson is that he can be a big play maker. And by big play maker, I mean a big sort of yards after the catch type of wide receiver. He's got really good speed, good agility. He can get off the line of scrimmage with, you know, sort of an explosiveness that's really good that will test uh, test the opposing defensive backs. So that obviously is good for him getting open. And then uh, when you look at him, he catches the ball and he is able to make magic out of it at times. And I think that's a really important trait in in these sort of modern receivers and I think that's something the Browns have honestly been lacking. We don't really have receivers who can catch a football and then make a play. And that is 100% necessary for Super Bowl contention. Look at the uh championship teams from the AFC and NFC side. You look at the Bengals, they have Jamar Chase. They have T you know T Higgins who's also a really good receiver. And then of course the Chiefs have Tyree Kill, which it seems like every single game Tyree Kill will take a, a a slant across the field and just turn on his burners and take it all the way for a touchdown. In the NFC, the 49ers had Debo Samuel and the and the Rams had Cooper Cup. I mean, all of these elite teams, the teams that had the best offenses in the league, had these top-tier wide receivers. You can't really be an elite offense if you're going to exclusively go, uh, you know, run heavy. I mean, you ha- it, it's just where the NFL is in 2022. You have to have a wide receiver who can make plays for himself. And that, of course, would be in- in- incredibly valuable for Baker Mayfield because, you know, going into this fifth-year option year, he currently has Donovan Peoples-Jones and Anthony Schwartz and some other you know, nameless faces. I mean, that's what we have. The Browns don't necessarily have a bunch of of talent at wide receiver. I think the it's super likely that Jarvis Landry will be cut in order to save some money on the salary cap. So, I mean, it's really a barren wasteland right there. And who knows what you're going to get through free agency and trade. So if you can go in this draft and and select Garrett Wilson, who can be that sort of playmaker after the catch, I think that would be a, a inc- an incredible asset to add to this Browns offense. And then another thing that he does really well that I think would really positively impact Baker Mayfield is he can make some acrobatic catches. Now, th- this also goes into his sort of uh, athletic potential, which really is the key when you're talking about Garrett Wilson is his athleticism. Like he, he kind of is a freak athlete almost when you watch him play. But, you know, his route his route running definitely isn't sharp. I mean, he's not like the most precise uh, receiver in terms of getting open. But when the, when, the, when the separation isn't perfect, he still seems to find ways to, to catch passes, even if it's like with distorting his body, um, you know, to catch passes that C.J. Stroud left maybe a little bit outside or a little bit high or a little bit behind him. He was able to twist and turn and just get his hands in position to, to catch footballs. And that would help Baker Mayfield because uh, we know that he's not 
perfect. We know that especially when he's dinged up, some of his passes don't necessarily hit the hands perfectly. And I also think it would make Baker Mayfield more competent in in throwing the football and throwing to a guy like Garrett Wilson, who he could trust to actually make a good effort to bring down uh, these passes. And it, it, I, I think that's something that Baker doesn't have right now. Like Donovan Peoples-Jones, um, you know, he's a good receiver. He's got good size, but he's not necessarily going to be a, a, a sort of weapon on his own. Like he has to thrive because Baker throws him really good passes. And I think the same is with Anthony Schwartz. The only thing Anthony Schwartz really has going for him is his speed. And when you look at Garrett Wilson, if the Browns drafted Garrett Wilson, he would immediately be the best wide receiver on this team by far. Like he would be the Browns' best receiver by far just because of his athleticism, his ability to get off the line of scrimmage really, uh, you know, really e- e- explosively, and his ability to adjust to to the ball thrown in the air and to make those kind of difficult catches. So in in the modern NFL. When you're going to have a coach like Kevin Stefanski, who obviously is offensive-minded, you need to give him these sort of weapons offensively that you can, you know, you can use as sort of these gadgets that really just are able to carry the offense on their own. Obviously, we know that Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt can be, you know, workhorse backs for for your team, but you need to have those sort of workhorse receivers in your passing game. And the Browns don't currently have one now. Baker Mayfield doesn't currently have his own like signature receiver at the moment. And I think Garrett Wilson could be that guy. But he's only one of the many uh, high-level receivers who are projected to go in the first round of this draft. I want to talk about more of those receivers in the coming weeks. But for now, let me know in the comments, what do you think of Garrett Wilson? Do you think he would be a good fit for the Cleveland Browns? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.